I did see uh, I haven't got any symptoms. This thing's supposed to pass in time. No. I did see trouble to bear down the arteries, so. Yes. Yeah. How was that? Six o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Right, okay, we'll kick off. Um, welcome everybody to this extraordinary meeting. Of the Oakham Town Council, it's Wednesday, the 27th of June. It is now 6 p.m. The uh, meeting was called because of um, just needed to get some bits on there. So we'll go through the agenda. Item one is the apologies to receive apologies. And we've had apologies from Tracy, Carl, Vince, Howard, Michael, Elliot, and Jonathan Hopkins. So I'll take them one at a time. A proposal for Tracy by Michael Haley, seconded by Sally Ann. All those in favour? That's unanimous. Mm. Uh, apologies to Vince Howard, proposed by Peter Hines, seconded by Sally Ann. All those in favour? Uh, that's unanimous. Uh, third one is Michael Elliott, proposed by Councillor Stubbs, seconded by Michael Haley. All those in favour? Yeah, that's uh, unanimous. <laughs> and lastly, apologies from Jasmine Hopkins, proposed by Michael Haley, seconded by Stan Stubbs. All those in favour? Uh, so one abstention, the rest are in favour. Mm -hmm. There's only seven of these, isn't there? Yeah. Okay. All right, then seven. Okay. Uh, so that's apologies. Declaration of interest. Members are asked or reminded to declare if required any disclaimer pecuniary interest they may have in respect to items on the agenda or any other interest they may have. The books are on the table and please make sure you sign in. Martin, you've got an interest you're declaring? Yeah, it's just I'm going to declare an interest and I won't take part on the representations of on other organisations. Item number five. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so you're not going to take part, right? No. Uh, and you're not going to vote? No. Okay. That means not taking part. In yeah, no, just on clarifying. No, 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 I'll just sit quietly, I won't comment. Okay. Um, thank you. Uh, Deputation by the public. Uh, uh, four is the minutes, which are uh, Appendix A. It's just to confirm the minutes of the meeting, the Open Town Council held. held on Wednesday, the 13th of July. Uh, any comments or observations, Mike? Yes, um, I'm not happy with the minutes um, on the conduct report 181 stroke 16. 181? Yeah, 16. Um, because it, it, yes, it was a difficult item, but there is clarification was sought by more than one member that they were actually voting for what was on the green paper. Because if you actually take it, they were just voting for the monitoring officer's recommendation and that paragraph, then some of the things that you are implementing didn't actually get voted on, but they did because people asked for the green paper. Yes, which is the paper that was taken that evening. Okay. Yeah, but Thank so you. it needs to be, could that be added in the minutes? That, and then there's no, I'm not disputing anything about what happened now because some things have been ironed out, but I would like it minuted that it was the green paper or whatever report number that was. Well, I think what it is, rather than put the green paper, I think the, the report uh, number. The, right. the, the, the conduct report was to discuss the agenda item, which is available for the public to see, isn't it? I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, I'm just thinking about it. But anyway, um, then the other one is um, the minute 19116 for the procurement. Um, I was going to do a transcript of exactly what was said and what happened, but and I thought there's not really much point. But I find it astonishing that four items there were completed in what was less than 30 seconds, and I dispute the fact that I interrupted constantly. Um, it, it's just not true and accurate record of what happened on that item. 
Okay. And I'd like that minute, please, that I dispute that. Okay, anybody need anything else? Can I, could, sorry, Chairman, could I just, while we're on the business of evidence of meetings, would it not be possible that the council could start audio recording using the laptop? Um, it's, so it's not relevant to bring that at this stage, because we're discussing minutes and that would be an No, but that's, because I had my evidence recorded, but we don't have it anymore because it doesn't work on video. But I, I hear what you're saying, but it, I can't, I can't address that. No, no, just a comment. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, so looking for, given Ben and Martin, everyone's heard what uh, Martin has said, so now looking for somebody to propose to accept the minutes, and he's asked for some points to be uh, um, noted. So, proposed by Michael Haley, seconded by Stan Stubbs. All those in favour? Uh, that's unanimous, then. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, right, yeah, five, right. Um, representation on other, other organisations. Um, oh, yeah, big one. Well, sorry. Thank you. Um, right. Uh, item five is representation of other organisations. That's a good point. One member, because there's probably only one slot that's why I said one member. To appoint members to um, the four organisations. At the moment, um, the leading that track, the Oakland Town Partnership, um, the, I actually am waiting for some communications to come back from Oakland Town Partnership. So, in actual fact, I'm going to, um, with everyone's permission, I'm going to sort of skip over that one first. In fact, probably uh, it was put on at the last minute, but I'm going to propose. But the Open Town Partnership one is uh, deferred. I was looking for the word and I couldn't think of what it was. Uh, purely the fact that our clarification hasn't been made to me as to exactly what their expectation is. And I don't want to go and, and do something where an outside organisation um, uh, we, we don't want to upset them basically. So, so the proposal. proposal that we defer. Thank you. Secondly, by um, all those in favour. You abstaining, Mike? Right. Uh, so that was uh, 6 4 and 1 abstention. Mm -hmm. The Parish Forum Working Group, uh, this only had one representative on it. They meet twice a year. Okay. Can I just have clarification? Why, why have we got all these? Uh, why, why are we discussing these? I thought we were okay. No, the, the vacancies came up with, um, uh, with, the, with the result of the conduct report that came back into a councillor's conduct, where that councillor was uh, removed from those groups, although before the uh, the removal occurred, the same councillor actually, I believe, resigned from those groups. Ah, oh, did he resign? Sorry, uh, did the councillor resign by email or have we had a letter? Well, or I a, a by letter, I, I haven't seen it from the time. Is that something that we could see or not? No, uh, or is that, well, is that uh, possibly, uh, possibly, possibly through people okay. who question, but um, probably not a good idea to share the letter in public. I think you to members, but yeah. I apologise to you for the um, the last bit of the content of it. Which is which referred to me as a turf. Yeah. 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 yeah, okay, well, thank you, Simon. Um, I think we're in the heat of the moment, no, that's what's been going on. I think that basically, um, I was, I was I only just, want, I just yeah. want clarification. Uh, yeah, well, basically, Councillor Brooks resigned from the organisations before he could be removed um, in an effort to um, oh, his choice, whatever reason. Uh, there was some heated exchange, I think, in the mail, which is all in the letter. He's obviously apologised. I haven't actually seen it officially. Thank you very much, Ryan. Um, so basically, oh, so that's what it is. So the Parish Forum Working Group meets X amount of times a year. Um, About three times. Three times a year. They obviously discuss things that go on at the Parish Forum meetings at the County Council. Is there anybody that's um, potentially interested? Uh, Peter? <coughs> Yeah, so I, I think it's important that, as Joyce says, they meet two or three times a year, and really they make up the agenda. And as a past chairman, I've got quite a bit of knowledge of this, so um, unless other people are interested, I don't know. Can I second that? Uh, okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, um, okay, yeah, so uh, Peter Wynne has proposed himself, with no other people being showing a, a, a strong. It's been seconded by uh, Joyce, so all those in favour that Peter Ryan goes on to the Parish Forum 
That's what we're working through. So that's six, four, and one abstention. Yes. So that's carried. Uh, trustees of the Memorial Institute that meet twice a year, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah. Is anybody got any interested in? I'm not sure. They they hand out money, don't they? And stuff. Mm. They, yeah. Yeah. Uh, any? I used to be on it. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, 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 no. Any any uh, takers for the trustees of the Memorial Institute? Um, well, I'll put my name forward for that. Councillor Lowe proposes happening? himself, seconded mm -hmm. by Councillor Hangley. All those in favour? It's an afternoon meeting. Okay. Oh, there we are. Yeah. Taking enough on the day. I'll clean yeah. it So that's six, four, and one abstention. So that's carried. Thank you. And lastly, the Open United Charities. Right. Do we know what they're doing? I'm not sure what they're doing. More or less the same thing. Do they? Yeah. Do we know how often they meet? Um, I've only been to one. No. Meeting. I think when they get some money, they call a meeting. It's ad hoc. Okay. It's in the council chamber. They ask you whoever does it to get the key oh, and okay. be the key holder for the night. Oh, that's nice. Um, no, for the very No, it's uh, early evening, what, at four o'clock, half past four. Oh, okay. Something like that. I think I can't remember. Okay, anybody interested in going on the Open United Charities as a representative of the council? Mm -hmm. Councillor mm -hmm. Haley's proposed itself, seconded by Stan Stubbs. All those in favour? Yeah. Six, four, and one abstention, so that's carried. Um, okay, moving on is item six is the council website, take two. Uh, to consider the reports and decisions of the program, I'm grateful to Sally Ann sending an email around today which gave additional information. Um, hopefully everybody's had a chance to re-read or digest the papers to do with the quotes. Um, I'd be interested to know if there's any feedback or comments around the table on any of this. The, the bit that came around, if you didn't see an email, just to clarify, is that uh, Millennium used to host or run or manage our website prior to going over to the local council one. We still pay an amount of money to maintain that or keep that, so we're paying £120 a year, I think, which is what we said. And if we chose to go for that one instead of one of the three that's in this pack, it would cost us £96 a year approximately in maintenance costs. It could possibly cost a one off fee of £500 for an initial redesign as well. So just throws another angle onto it. And it's what we were used to before Leicester County Council all came in. So around the table we will look. Anybody got any comments or observations? Yes. Uh, um, has this gone, is this promotions working group? Uh, no. No, it's it, no. it set up with me and Jasmine. Well, I took uh, from somebody else. Yeah. And has Jasmine been informed or has uh, I have spoken to the woman yet? Yeah. That's what I'm yeah. Was she in agreement or what? What was her? What was her opinion? Does she have an opinion? I don't think she had an opinion no. in the end. No, <laughs> I don't know no. if Michael knows any different. Okay. Well, to a certain extent, it's slightly relevant because even if Jasmine had an opinion, even though it would be nice to have a steer on it, I think the information we've got is in black and white and blue, so we can uh, see what conclusions we draw. So, anybody else got a comment or come around to mine? Who, what's your thoughts on that? Well, I would like to go, and I have raised it before, I think we should go back to the existing website. Millennium. Yeah, because it's there. It's no difficulty. In fact, when the, as I mentioned, sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it's for those who may not have heard or read the email. Um, we pay for it to be redirected from it. When the redirection breaks down, it goes straight back to that website on Google and other search engines, and it drops down everything that's on there. So it gives a good full page for Oakham Town Council and I assume, I don't, can't remember the exact date, I've looked at the archives and it goes quite a long way back and there are different designs. Yeah. It's something the council paid for some years ago. We stopped using it in 2013 and I, would, I, I to me it seems a bit silly to throw it away because it had everything, I, I sent people <coughs> an email with a, a copy a rough copy of the front page, which has all the links down on the left-hand side of what we need. And I never, because I was a member of the public at the time we took on Leicester Parishes thing, never understood why the council even took it in the first place when we had a perfectly good 
So that's what it is. It looks a bit, it looks a bit dated. Pictures could have been changed, text updated. Um, I, I, I do find that 500 pounds is probably going to make us quite a nice website. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I was going to um, suggest a proposal that we went with that, but gave a budget slightly higher than the the 500, but knowing that perhaps if Sally Ann is taking on this project with the office, that they won't spend it. But I was thinking so it didn't have to come back to council that they were giving a budget of a thousand pounds to use Millennium, but not to spend that, go with that 500 pounds figure. I think, I think that's quite high when you've got an existing website that's fully operational and has all the data, all the documents stored on it already. Okay, thank but you. But also, if we went with that, I'd like to propose that Millennium transferred the archive from Leicestershire Parish before it collapsed, so that it can be updated, this website, if that's what members wanted to go with. So, uh, if I'm committed, I'd like to make that proposal, what I said. Um, okay. uh, anybody got any other observations or comments? I have to admit, when I read the papers, I mean, um, I would be, if I went through each of them, the creative store one, it, you know, obviously no one doing it, even professional companies, but an estimated cost of two and a half thousand pounds with no mm -hmm. breakdown, I thought was a little bit, um, I was struggling to sort of get my head around it, really, if I'm honest. Um, the two commune ones seemed to be reasonable from, from some regards, but then the millennium thing kicked in. Um, and likewise with the well, and that almost seemed reasonable as well. I'm of an ideal that the Millennium option, what we had before, what we knew did work, and the only reason for clarity once again that we came away from Millennium and went to the Leicestershire County Council suggested one was because all the councils in the area were adopting that format, that design. And sure enough, if you look at Hampstead or well, any of the parish councils around here all have the same format. Yeah. It's just a, such a shame that all of them now have got to change in some format or, and, and go, either go their own way again or go over to one of the ones which does other local council work. And the only thing that makes me nervous is how long before they pull the plug or how, how long before their charges increase. Um, you know, it, I know the same thing you said about local supply, but Millennium do do a lot of other mm -hmm. work. So, if there's no other observations or comments, mm -hmm. Peter, a comment. Um, yeah, thank you. I think this in the future would fit in with our new procurement strategy because we're doing it a bit on the roof. I'm not against it because I think the answer is right, but um, really it should be in more tabular form. We're really going against the report orders, but probably we're getting into the right position. Um, we haven't really spoken to the new client yet. Is he happy with um, the way we're going on this and helping with the no, design? And what I've seen is that the fast and the website is a good standard. It's a good standard. Mm -hmm. um, it's certainly a good standard compared to some of the councils that uh, are putting a rather amateurish uh, effort into it. Um, and uh, again, from what I've seen, um, the, the standards are well within those specified for the quality council. Yeah. So I, yeah. I, I, I can't complain, I can't give offer it could no. the, and I think what it is is that, I mean, hooking into what Martin said there, that if we're going to invest money, if we have to invest in any one of these to get a significant design that we were comfortable with. And the fact that Millennium is there and we're paying for it. So if we go for one of the others, we've still got to pay that £120 mm -hmm. a year. Mm -hmm. So by going with Millennium, we go back to something you know and trusted that is local on the doorstep, hopefully they'll be quite responsive. And if if we as Martin's proposed there that a thousand pound budget is aligned to making sure that whatever is designed, it could go up to that point. Um, it could be that we speak to because we have to manually transfer everything on our website at the moment over. I don't know into that, I don't know. Because it could be a natural fact that the proposal would be that if we go with Millennium up to a thousand pounds if needed, if we need to, I don't know, modernize mm -hmm. the, the website because the web page is probably does look dated yes. or anything. But to actually ask the clerk or the assistant clerk to contact Millennium and say, Yes, we want you to do it, but we want you to transfer the data over how much that will cost, and that could be incorporated with that thousand pounds as well. But yeah, when, when you look at it, there was some things transferred to it. 
So we wouldn't want to transfer that back if we know that it's still on the thing. So you're looking at, from what I looked at today, just transferring from 2013, which is minutes. three years, minutes and agenda. And the, obviously the uh, people's signatures and you know, they're, uh, well, they get deleted when people no, do the interest. Interest. Yeah, the interest. So it's not a huge okay. task for can somebody I, to I, do. Yeah. Can I ask so when's the first first of winter cut off? August, September. I think it's going to be done by the first of September, if I remember correctly. So it's got down here that is um, as of first September the first. This would no longer be the case. So it's due to be switched so off. So yeah. the end of August. Then. Yeah. End of August, so, got so all the stuff that's on the one now, they can yeah. transfer across to the yeah. millennium one, yeah. and they'll pick it here. Yeah. So proposal for we can take it as Mike's proposal. But sorry, sorry, Michael. I was, I was just coming in for us. Yeah, she. We had a proposal for Michael. Can I ask the chair, Sally Ann? You and Jasmine have worked on this. What is your recommendation? I would go with millennium. I've got a picture up on that for email. <laughs> Even though I didn't say so I did, I got yeah, that on make the proposal so. No, you can. No, so a proposal from Martin is that, that, that we go back to Millennium, um, that we spend no more than a thousand pounds. I give you that that would also incorporate the data transfer because they would probably want to charge something. And also look at uh, the site being maybe if it can be updated, updated so it doesn't look updated. So, proposal from Martin. Second. Does everybody understand that? Seconded yeah. by Sally Ann, all those in favour? No, one, two, three. Oh, that's unanimous. Yeah. Can I just say that we have two, two lady councillors have worked jolly hard on this and we've gone round and round and round and we've de de deferred on them and we're back more or less when we started, but I think they have done a fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, we'll make a, make a comment in a minute that um, the council acknowledges the work that Jan and Hockey was in there. Sally Ann yep. has <laughs> put into the work. Because it hasn't, it hasn't been, um, even though we've come around at the same thing, if they haven't put in the legwork, then we won't be around no. the decision. And the, the decision to defer it was a lot yes. decision as well. But to help clarify certain things, Mark, you're going to add to this. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, go on. So, because well, I, I did mention about, I didn't know what I had asked, and, but if somebody perhaps could work with the office, does that need a proposal for somebody to be appointed to work with the office on the um, updating we, of the Millennium site? I would, I would say, um, maybe not, because in theory, the you never said it was a working group, were you? You just no. set up as a mission. Just to I, think, I, think, I, think, I think what it is, is that because that was still there, probably we, maybe uh, Alison will, uh, <laughs> I do know who you are. Just, I just have to think. It's been a long time. Uh, Alison will probably contact yourself and Jasmine, I think, just to, to get some yeah. input. Um, and hopefully, if that's all right with you, Alison. I'll work with Alison as well. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. There's a little bit of, I don't see the need to set up another working group. No, no. no. I say initially the priority is a to get Millennium or get the new, get the old one reopened. You know, kind of like you know, just yeah. have taken off the dust sheets. And the second thing is get the data transferred over because that's kind of critical. And then to look at what we do next. So you ask the same question. So are you going to, if you've got an idea of how you're going to do it? Design it, or you're going to have people doing that. I think well, it's really a bit of everything. Yeah. And to a certain extent, if the office is going to be managing it long term, it needs the biggest Ideally. amount of input comes from you. Yeah. 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 Because, the, and also the bulk of the changes, there has to be some restrictions on access to the chamber website. No disrespect to obviously people around yes. the table, but the thing is, it is a, a portal. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Uh, now, okay. I've not missed anything. So it is now 18.23 and the council meeting is now concluded. Thank you very much. The next meeting now is going to be at 7 o'clock.